Hello friends, I am Ankit and welcome to my channel. I am here with my weekly analysis for gold and silver. And what a wonderful week it was. Since last multiple weeks, I have been shouting, I have been sharing it on my weekly analysis that gold and silver is going to give you a strong breakout rally. That is what exactly has happened this time. Gold achieved 1975 levels and silver achieved 2550 levels. But close the week with a drop. Now, what is going to, I hope you all profited first. Second, what is going to happen next week? We are going to look with the help of candlestick charts and indicators this time. And I am going to give you the trading levels at the end of every analysis. Those who are new to the channel, I uh, let me share that I provide my uh, daily analysis for US, Europe, UK, India indices and gold and silver and crude oil and natural gas as well. And this is one comprehensive analysis which includes all these indices and commodities which I release with Asia session and it gives you the trading levels which you can expect throughout the day for gold and silver also and one specific analysis for uh, gold and US 30 and US 100 index for US cash session just before the US cash session opens so daily two videos definitely it will help you become or it will help you understand the market better and the levels to go long and short you can definitely make profit with those so now don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment friends. Don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can stay tuned with the latest analysis. Now let's start the week with gold first. First look at the weekly charts here and weekly charts achieved a breakout, achieved a high at 1975 and traded still closed the week in a red candle. However, if you can see it, it though it... Uh, traded below the support levels at 1891 but it is still very close to it and you can see the level at 1880 giving it a very strong support down there so next week also if you see it trading below 1880 definitely you can go short you can again expect it to hit 1840 1836 zone which is going to be a stronger resistance zone for gold for any downward move however this is on the weekly charts and last week as I shared that it is going to give you a stronger breakout rally. This was the breakout candle last week. Again trying to hit this zone. But at the same time it has also covered this. And I will be looking forward to if it continues to rise or not. Now if it drops on the downside. The support level definitely at 1850. Or sorry first 1836 and then 1810 will come into picture. But this is on the weekly charts. And on the weekly charts if you see it trading beyond 1900 one levels next week go long there you can again expect it to rise strongly and this time it is again going to go back towards 1950 1935 and 1950 levels now this is what we can expect so go long at 1901 you can take a long entry there you can expect it to rise towards 1925 35 and 1950 levels on the downside if you see it breaking 1880 you can take a short entry there now let's have a look at the daily chart of uh, monthly charts also because the monthly candle is going to get close and there is only one trading session left see it has got the stronger support at this levels I have told that uh, you can remain long above 1880 levels 1800 levels and specifically beyond 1836 it is going to fly that is what has happened we have achieved all the targets for the month and from 1800 to 1975 almost 175 points on gold we have achieved and now it is trading at almost half the body size so a uh, little half a little more than half the body size indicating this yes gold is still very much bullish so what we can expect see in last six months the trend for gold is one red candle then a minor retracement red candle minor retracement red candle and a big breakout now this time if you see it trading beyond 1901 that is the month of March if you see it trading beyond 1901 one can remain long and one can expect it to achieve higher highs and this time the highs are going to be a further high probably the first target at 1960 and then it is definitely going to go past 2000 levels in the month of March itself. At the same time on the downside the support level lying strongly at around 1800 levels. So in the month of March if you see it breaking 1800 definitely it is going to give you a more bearish move where you can expect it to drop sharply. However I don't expect it to happen. I, I will expect it to resume the bull run and continue in this bullish trend for next week also and you can expect 1935-1940 levels at least if it may try to achieve or else not then uh, Yes, it may remain bullish, but not so strong bullish moment it may give and then continue this momentum throughout the month of March itself. 
so this is what we can see on the uh, weekly and monthly charts now let's have a look at the daily charts on the daily charts see it has come back to and drop below this pivot level the next support level at around 1880 will 1880 is there and then 1875 will come into picture rather you can take 1870 will come into picture so uh, as i said on the daily charts if you see it trading below 1880 you can go short there you can expect 1870 and then 1836 levels 1850 and 1836 levels will come into picture and if you see it trading above 1901 so if you see it uh, trading above 1901 any point of time take a long entry there and you can expect it to rise also one must not forget that on the daily charts higher lows lower highs is what we can see and probably any move beyond 1910 levels will definitely be a good indication that it is trying to give you a strong breakout now let's have a look at the indicators what does the indicator suggest for us 30 here now look at the daily charts here 1920 stronger resistance and 1880 stronger support now in between this if it breaks 1880 the next support from 20 period moving average is going to come into picture at 1860 levels so it may break till there it can also drop till towards 1836 levels one probability second uh, you can see the trended price oscillator looking down third the stochastic which was overbought so i have been giving it a shout that it is overbought the gold is very much overbought and it has to break and that is what has happened it is broken but achieved a high good high at around 1975 before looking downwards so another probability that it may try to enter oversold position here before trying to rise because that is what we have seen happening many a times on gold and yes uh, looking downwards means you can expect a, a drop day and then it may rise again one possibility now look at this the MACD is trying to converge and cross over if it crosses over on the sell side probably we may see a drop again RSI is looking downwards here on the daily charts but before I come up with the levels let's have also have a look at the indicators on the weekly charts on the weekly charts you will find that here is the support lying at around 1800 to 1820 levels for gold on the weekly charts any break below this zone at 1800 is definitely an indication of more bearishness however right now it is trading above this and it is indicative that it is uh, in a very bullish zone also on the weekly charts the stochastic is overbought hence might cool down a little MACD lines are wide and divergent now considering all this let me give you the trading levels for the week here so first let's talk about the level where you can go long i will recommend you to go long at 1901 where the next target is 1912 and after that it and after that it will directly hit 1921 then 1935 and then 1950 will come into picture it can rise till here beyond that anything is bonus 1965 and 1971 levels it can rise anything is possible these are markets and it can continue to rise and it can continue to remain in a bullish zone here and probably uh, i will expect if it continues to remain beyond 1921 1901 first target 1921 and if 1921 is taken it will try to hit 1950 this week itself so take your positions accordingly but at the same time if you see it trading below 1880 if it draws below 18 rather i will say i will recommend it 1878 itself if it see you see it dropping below 1878 you can expect it to drop or hit 1860 first target then towards 1847 the next support and then 1836 remember this level at 1836 and 1833 are a strong support zone for any downward move for gold if it breaks this zone you can expect it to hit 1810 and below that definitely we are going to remain strongly bearish if it breaks this zone at 1810 at 1800 this week or this month you can remain strongly bearish on gold you can expect it to drop heavily so take your positions accordingly i will expect at least it to achieve 1935 and 1950 levels levels 1950 levels this week itself take your positions accordingly now let's have a look at the charts for silver and the targets for silver now this is the weekly chart for silver you can clearly see how many times i have told in my weekly analysis 24 200 is going to give it a stronger 
support level and it is definitely going to break out beyond 2550 levels this level was the target and beyond that also 2600 after 2600 definitely it is going to give you a stronger uh, rise how far this could go it could go till towards 2800 2750 and 2800 zone zone this zone is going to be important for silver now exactly precisely it has achieved the first target and in fact traded beyond the next target is still lying there now on the weekly charts also you can see it is clearly given this channel it is clearly trading in this channel and yes till the time for the month of for this week if you see it trading about 2400 levels one can remain long one can expect it to rise the next target is again towards 2520 and in fact it can rise beyond those levels also towards 2550 and 2600 remember it can give you stronger rise beyond those but if you see it breaking below 2380 yes here you can go short if you see it breaking 2380 you can expect it to drop and again come back till towards 2300 levels however i expect it to give it a rise i expect it to uh, continue with the rise and one can remain long on silver with a target of around 2550 levels again but this is on the weekly charts let's have a look at the monthly charts on the monthly charts with the support at 2200 silver has shown a stronger breakout one possibility that it can again come back here at 2350 levels and close the month here at around 2380 rather i will say so close the month at around 2380 the very first trading day for the week and that is going to be the end of this candle and from there we can expect it to rise this time it is definitely going to hit 2600 plus plus levels in the month of march itself so this is my expectation from uh silver and also the next candle where it opens is of prime importance to us it will try to open flat and try to give you a strong bullish candle taking it towards 2700 2800 zone in the month of march itself remember it can try to achieve 2700 in the month of march itself hence probably till the time it remains over 2380 in the month of march and in this week also you can remain long you can expect it to achieve higher levels you can expect it to give a stronger rise below 2380 yes 2300 and 2200 again will come into picture in the month of march itself now this is on the weekly and monthly charts let's have a look at the daily charts on the daily charts you can see this is the pivot at 2400 and there is a support at 2380 this zone is very important almost giving a double bottom here and with the uh, double bottom here it is trying to rise so yes if you see it trading beyond 2440 any point of time next week yes you can go long there you can again expect it to hit 2460 and then directly it will land towards 2500 level so take your positions accordingly any draw below 2380 then it will come 2370 and then below that it will try to drop strongly so take your positions accordingly now let's have a look at the indicators here indicators on the daily charts you will find that there is a stronger support this is the 100 period moving average 20 period moving average this is going to give it a stronger support at 2380 2350 and 2330 levels still 2330 one can remain bullish on silver and you can expect it is going to rise again so till 2330 i am going not going to recommend you to remain short any drop till there is a good level to buy remember till 2330 any level to uh, uh, any drop till there is a good level to buy you can again expect 2550 and 2600 in fact 2700 in the month of march itself but below this level again 2200 will come into picture now look at the dpo is in buy zone the daily stochastic with just one drop however the markets have not moved anywhere it is again 24 25 levels still the stochastic has seen a drop so from here i will observe if it continues to drop to, towards 2380 2350 zone again come back to oversold levels and give a strong rise on the upside this is also very much possible MACD lines are wide and divergent and uh, still in a buy zone rsi is comfortable so this is on the daily now let's have a look at the indicators on the weekly charts you'll find that on the weekly charts here at 2350 same observation 2380 2350 and 2330 levels these are going to give a stronger support for silver for any downward move and till the time it remains above, one can remain long on the weekly chart. The stochastic is still looking upwards. The MACD lines are divergent and are still on a buy zone. And RSI is comfortable. So, uh, we have seen the charts. We have seen the indicators. We have seen in detail what can be expected. Now, let me give you the trading levels for silver. 
सो फर्स्ट टॉक अबाउट लेस डिस्कस अबाउट वेन आई एम बुलिश ऑल्सो and the markets are indicating let's talk about the levels to buy first you can take a long entry at 2438 itself you can remain long after this the next target is 2455 and once 2455 is taken 2480 and 2500 will come into picture so remember these levels are important 2438 beyond that one can take a long entry and remain long for the week i expect at least it may try to hit 2480 2455 in this zone or beyond that definitely it will fly towards 2500 and 2550 so these levels i have been shouting since long that uh, silver is trying to achieve these levels and definitely this time is it has achieved and it can again try to go back to these levels so till the time it remains about 2438 2440 levels one can remain long on silver one can expect it to rise however on the downside right now it is closed at 24 25 i will recommend to go short at 2400 the next support at 2380 which is going to be a stronger support for silver is will be there and only below 2380 i will expect it to act bearish this is going to be towards 2350 the next support and then 2330 till here also in the month of march i will expect it to give it a rise i will expect it i will expect silver to rise again from these levels but once it breaks 2330 i will be turning bearish on silver for near future we can expect 2300 2250 and 2200 levels again on silver in the month of march itself for the week i will expect it to at least if it continues to drop also these levels at uh 2380 should provide a support and from there also it can bounce back the next target 2480 2500 and 2550 is definitely there it can continue to rise and i will expect it to hit this zone beyond 2550 on the month of march for the month of march i am looking forward to 2700 levels mark my words it can try to hit these levels in the month of march itself take your positions accordingly and this is all from my side if you have any trading or trading related queries you can reach out to me via telegram or email Also join my Telegram channel. The links are mentioned in the description. Also email ID is also mentioned in the description. One can also join my mentorship course. This is starting on the second week of or first week of March, somewhere around tenth of March. And by joining or by being the part of mentorship batch, you can become a proficient and efficient trader. The strategy taught the in the session definitely will help you gain more from the markets. And first thing. prevent your losses second thing is to make more from so invest in your learning join this mentorship course reach out to me via email or telegram for the details regarding the course thank you very much have a great profitable trading week ahead thank you